Hello my crafty friends and welcome. It is December 11th, 2023. Karen Berniston and the design team are celebrating her new release with a blog hop. Be sure to visit and comment on each blog to increase your chance of winning a $25 gift card. Today I am featuring the topper tags. This die set has four different size tags as well as decorative hole reinforcers and two borders to create a fancy top on your die, on your tags, such as I've done on this one by running a ribbon right through the holes that are already there. I use the smallest tag in the set to create all of these tags. I've done all of the decoration using Karen Berniston dies, and there are a lot of parts from a lot of different sets, and I've tried to list all of them in the description box. I hope I didn't miss any. I decided that this would be a fun hostess gift since we're going to a friend's house for dinner next week. So in order to contain them, I needed something special. What I came up with was a sleigh. I made the, pop, the sleigh pop up into a 3D container for the tags. These six tags fit in here very nicely because I added a spacer. But it would hold up to 12 if you really wanted to make that many tags. I'm going to show you exactly how I created this little 3D sleigh, so let's get started. For this project, I began by using the sleigh pop-up die set from Karen Berniston, and I cut it out twice. But since the paper that I'm using has a glittery side and a plain side, what I did was I cut my first one out of the glittery side as you can see right here so you get one that's on the glittery side and then I turned the paper over and cut one on the back side of the paper so that you have opposing sleighs so that when they're put together the right side of the paper shows on both sides now for the blades I wanted those in silver so I partially die cut the sled again and then I trimmed it off so that I just had the parts that I want and you can do that easy enough with your scissors and I've already done that so you don't have to be bored stiff watching me cut things out so I'm going to go ahead and add those to my sleigh and I did that by adding just a lot of little glue all the way around I placed it over that very carefully, lining everything up so that it looks like it has silver blades. And I did that on both sides. Okay, now I have the blades all glued on and I gave it a little extra time because I used glitter paper. And glitter paper wants to act like a non-porous surface, so it takes the glue a little bit longer to set up. So that's all ready to go. So while I was waiting for my glue to set, I made my template and this is for the inside of the sleigh which will hold the tags. Now I'm going to use the smallest tag in the topper tag set and it measures two and a quarter inches across. So I wanted a little extra space for my tabs. So what I have done is cut a piece of cardstock and this one I'm using white so that it's easier for you to see on camera but I am going to use a red one. So I made it three and a quarter inches across so I would have extra room on the sides for tabs and then I made it four and a half inches up and down so then I scored it put placed it on the scoreboard this way and I scored a half an inch over here from this edge and a half an inch over here from this edge so that and then I turned it like this and I scored it at one inch here and two and a half inches here which gives me an inch and a half of space to put my tags in and the whole thing will fit inside like this so now I if you didn't get those measurements not to worry I have to have put them on my blog and I have linked my blog below so just go there there'll be more directions and some more pictures for you okay so then I cut my piece of red 
and I did all my score lines. Then as you can see, to make my tabs, what I did was cut up to the score line right here on this crease, and then I cut away a little bit on each side. That makes it able to fold up inside the sleigh and not crash into each other. So that's smoother that way. So I'm going to finish doing that. And then, because the sleigh is rounded and these corners are more are squared, I'm going to cut some of that off so that it doesn't show when the thing is all glued together. So then I snipped each corner like this from the inside to the outside. Just like that. Okay, let's move those aside. Okay, you may also notice that I have made a little, with a white gel pen, I've made some mark right here along the crease line on both sides of this tab. That's so that when I place my sleigh on there, I can line it up with the crease. And since it's two dark colors together, it'll be a lot easier to see. So the first thing that I'm going to do is fold down these two tabs because I don't need them just yet. So I'm going to lay that out like that. I'm going to put some glue on this tab. Just like that. And then I'm going to place the sleigh with this part right here, this bottom part of the red, lined up with the crease. Actually it's going to be just above, but that's right where that, and then as you notice I lined it up so that this is over to the edge. And that's important for the next piece when we put it on. Okay, so I have the crease lined up just, you could just barely see it. This part does not cross it, it just comes right up to it. So I'm going to press that into the glue. And then I'm going to fold these tabs down. I'm going to add my glue to this tab. And I'm going to add this sleigh, this side of the sleigh rather. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to line it up over here, but then I'm going to line it up on the crease line. If I get my head in there, please excuse me, but I need to get it lined up just the way I want it. Okay, I think that looks good. So I'm going to press that down into the glue. Now, as you can see, we have the sleigh on either side so that we can fold this up. And then when we do that, we can glue these tabs down and make, and make the sleigh look like a sleigh. But as long as I have it flat, I am going to take my little decorative lights, which I got from the new Christmas borders, and I'm going to add my lights to the top. And that's going to seem a little bit backward, and it is, but I'm going to add a little bit of glue right behind each, each light bulb, and I'm going to put it on this tab. I'm going to fold it down so it's easier to access. Whoops, sorry about that. A little bit off camera. But that, that's going to go right here. Lined up right with the top of that. Oops, a little bit. Okay, here we go. Now you can see that's just like that. Now, what we need to do is fold everything up just like this and like this with the sides coming up. So we need to fold the tabs on the inside of the sleigh. And then we're going to fold this up just like this. And it's going to make that into a, the little sleigh. So I'm going to do the back first. And I'm going to put some glue on this tab right here. I'm going to fold it up just like that. So it's kind of straight, but leaning a little bit backward. Now, in order to get this to sit level, which is what we want, I want to do the other side of that back part next. I'm going to fold this tab down. I'm going to put my glue on. And then I want to set it down on the table so that both sides are on, both blades are on the table. And then I'm going to keep it held down just like that. I'm going to put the back back up now just like that. Now you can see all of the blades are sitting on the table and that's what we want. 
we're going to glue this tab down in place so we have something that looks just like that. It looks a little funny right now, but it's coming together. Now, the next thing we want to do is fold this tab down, just like that. I'm going to put the glue on the tab that's going to touch the side of the sleigh. Okay, then we're going to push it. I'm going to keep my sleigh on the table because I want it to stay level. I'm going to push the sides up, and I'm going to push that tab, whoops, put the glue just like that. I'm going to hold it for a second so it'll stay in place. So you can see we already have our cute little lights on there. Okay, now you can see it sits nice and flat. So the only thing left to do is to push this tab down, put some glue on it, and it's a little awkward, but you can see it's going to be right on the inside of that tab. Then I'm going to set it on the table, and I'm going to press that into place, and I'm going to push my tab. Whoops. I'm going to push it again because it didn't want to stay that time. Okay, so I'm going to hold it till the glue sets just a little bit. And so, I'm sorry that my hands are in the way. Let's hold it like this. Now you can see it sits nice and level and it's ready to go. Not a bad way to end the project. It's just what we wanted. It looks cute. It's ready for the tags. Now I have to say, I already sent my first sleigh in to Karen with the tags. So I just made this one so you could have a demonstration. But it's ready to hold the tags just like that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you'll give it a try because it's a lot of fun and it's a great hostess gift. See you next time. Bye bye.